Okay, page two seven six, section four point one. Let's look at number fourteen. Here we have y to the fourth power times y to the fifth power times y to the sixth power. So here we multiply a whole bunch of y. We call the y as the base. When the base are the same, you just write down one base. So you just write down one y. Then you combine all the exponents. So this is equal to y to the sixteen. Next, let's look at number sixteen. Number sixteen. Here we have negative five x square times three x to the fourth power. For this, you multiply number times number, so be negative five times three. X times x, you write down one x. You combine the exponents, so this will be negative fifteen x to the six. Now let's look at number eighteen. Number eighteen. Here we have parenthesis of eight s to the fourth power t times three s. To the third power t to the fifth power. Again, you multiply number times number, so be eight times three. You multiply s base are the same. You combine the exponents. Multiply t times t. Write down one t. If you don't see any exponents, that's a one. So be one plus five. So the answer is equal to twenty four s seven t six. Now, let's look at number sixty four. Number sixty-four. Here, we have five to the nine over five to the seven. Now, when we are dividing, when you divide, base are the same. Both are five. You always use large exponent to minus smaller exponent. So keep the five. The large exponent will be nine. So be nine minus seven. So be five square. So the answer is equal to twenty-five. Next. Let's look at number sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. Here we have y to the eight over y twelve. Now this time my larger exponent is at the denominator, so I'm gonna keep my y at the bottom at the denominator. I always use large exponent to minus smaller exponents, so be twelve minus eight. If you have nothing on top, you must put a one. So it will be one over y to the four. Okay. Now let's look at number seventy-two. Seventy-two. Here we have five to the negative four over five square. Okay. This time we have a negative exponents. Every time you have a negative exponent, you want to change to a positive exponents. If the negative exponents are the numerator, all you need to do just move to the denominator. If the negative exponents is at the bottom, all you need all you need to do just move to the top. So here we're gonna keep the five square. Now we're gonna move five to the four down. Okay, so five to the four down become positive exponents. Nothing on top. You're gonna put a one. So be one over. Now five times five base are the same. You write down one base. You combine the exponent. Will be two plus four, so the answer will be one over five to the six, five to the six power. I think that is one five six two five. Okay, double check that answer. Okay, next, let's look at number seventy, seventy four. Seventy four will be eight over a to the negative one. Now this time negative exponents at the denominator, so I go move the negative to the top, move that to the top. So this will be keep the a on the top. Okay, we don't we don't need that. Keep the a on the top. Now when we move a to the negative one to the top, become a to the positive one. So here, a times a is equal to sixty four. Now let's look at number eighty. Number eighty over here. Here we have y to the fifth power and four outside. Now this, you keep your base. You go multiply the exponents. So be five times four. So be y to the twenty. Now, let's look at number eighty-four. 
Number 84. Here we have 5t to the 4. The long way to do this, that means you multiply the parenthesis itself 4 times. 5t, 5t. Now you multiply all the 5, that gives you a 6 to 5. t times t times t, you're adding all the exponent will be t to the 4th power. The easy way to do this, 5t to the 4, you take the outside exponents, okay, you give to everybody inside. So it's like this. So be 5 to the 4th power, then t to the 4th power. So here, 5 to the 4th power, so equal to 6 to 5, then t4. Now, let's look at number 86. Number 86. Here we have a negative 2 x to the 5th power. Then we have 5 outside. So here, we're going to take the outside exponents, multiply to everybody inside. Okay, so this will be negative 2 to the 5th power. Then x, here I have 5 for the exponents, I have 5 times 5. So the answer is equal to negative 32, then x to the 25. Now let's look at number 114. Number 114. 114. Okay, we have x to the third power a negative 4 outside, then x to the fifth power. So here, we're going to take the negative 4, multiply to the exponents inside. So this will be x to the third power times negative 4. You keep the x to the fifth power. Okay, keep the x to the fifth power. So here, x, 3 times negative 4 give you negative 12. Keep x to the fifth power. Now, you are multiply x times x. Base are the same. You have x. So just write down one x, you combine the exponent. So this will be x to the negative seven. Again, we don't want the negative exponents. Every time you have a negative exponent, you want to change negative to a positive exponent. So this time we're going to move the x to the bottom, become x to the positive seven. Again, nothing on top, you must put a one. Next, let's look at number 118. Number 118. So we have 3p to the negative 4, abc to the second power, p to the third power, and negative 1 outside. I always take the outside exponents, then multiply to the inside exponents. Outside exponents multiply to inside exponents. So this becomes 3 square, 3 square. Then here we have p negative 4 times 2. Then P, 3 times a negative 1. So 3 square, let's go back, to, okay. So 3 here, 3 square, that becomes a 9. P, negative 4 times 2 will be a negative 8. Here, P, 3 times negative 1 will be a negative 3. Keep the negative 9. You multiply P, negative 8 times P, negative 3. Base are the same, you just write down one P, you combine you combine the exponents. Okay, you combine the exponent will be negative A plus negative three. So it'll be nine times P to the negative eleven. Again, we don't want the negative exponents. The negative eleven belong to the P, okay, it does not belong to the nine. So nine stay on the top. We only move P to the bottom. Once you move to the bottom, it becomes a positive exponent. Okay. Now Let's look at number one, two, four. One, two, four, we have n to the fourth power, everything to zero power. Then here we have nine n negative three. Okay, so here, everything to the zero power is equal to one. So the whole thing over here, this is equal to one. Now, 
at the denominator, we have n to the negative 3. We don't want a negative exponent, so we're going to move this one up. So this becomes n to the positive 3. We're going to keep the 9 at the denominator. So here my answer will be n to the third power over 9. Next, let's look at number 1, 2, 6. 1, 2, 6, we have a to the negative 9, b6 over a3, b negative 4. Okay, when you have this kind of problem, step 1, you're going to identify negative exponents, okay, to see which one you have to, you want, you have to move. So a to the negative 9, that's a negative exponent, we're going to move down. b to the negative 4, that's negative, so we're going to move up. Next, you write down the number e state. So on top, b6, that's a positive exponent, so that stay on the top. Denominator a to the third power, that's a positive that state. Then after that, that's move, okay? So we're going to move the negative exponent. So a to the negative 9, that go down, it becomes positive 9. b to the negative 4, it move up, okay? So this becomes b to the positive 4. Now, let's look at the numerator. When you multiply b times b, base are the same. You write down one base, you combine the exponents. a times a, base are the same. You just write down one a, you combine the exponent. So here we have b to the 10. Let me write this clear. b to the 10 over a to the 12. Okay. Next, let's look at number 128. 1, 2, 8. Here we have negative 8xy, everything uh, times, I'm sorry, times y to the third power over 4x5y4. Okay, so let's look at the numerator. Keep the negative a, keep the x. Now, you multiply y times y, you write down 1y, you combine the exponents, so it'll be 1 plus 3. Denominator, keep the denominator for now, denominator stay the same, okay? So here, we have a negative a x y to the 4 over 4 times x to the 5th power y4. Okay, after that, let's reduce this. Let's look at the number. For the numerator, Negative a divided by 4, that becomes a negative 2. Next, okay, let me write this. All right. Will be negative 2. Now, when you're dividing x, okay, base are the same. You write down 1x. Always use large exponent to minus a smaller exponent. My large exponent for the x is at the denominator, so I'm going to keep my x at the denominator. Then after that, when you divide, okay, y divided by y, if you're doing division, top and the bottom, you have exactly the same number, you cancel out. So y divided by y to become 1, so no more y, okay? So here, my answer is equal to negative 2x to the 4th power.